I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. This is Matt once again, and this time I'm coming at you with a very badass film with starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and directed by Chuck Russell, and that is the 1996... I want to make sure. This was 96, right? Yeah, it was. 1996 film, Eraser. Watching this film again, it was a lot of fun. It was an extremely fun movie to watch once again. Directed by Chuck Russell here when he was calling himself Charles Russell. But it's Chuck Russell. This is a guy who directed Nine Minutes Street Part 3, The Blob Remake from 1988, The Mask. I think he did The Scorpion King. He did this film. Not a big fan of The Scorpion King, but the rest of the stuff, especially this one, I really enjoy. Of course, The Blob Remake, of course. Some would say this is probably the last, even though there's CGI in it. You could almost say this is the last old school Schwarzenegger film. That'd be up to you to decide. You have James Caan as your bad guy. You have Vanessa Williams, Williams, who does she does a fine job in this flick. And the film, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a U.S. Marshal who deals with the witness protection program. You have this girl played by Vanessa Williams who works for this defense contractor. Finds out that there's these electromagnetic guns called, uh, also nicknamed, oh, what was it nicknamed, the, uh, shit, the, uh, rail guns. And pretty much you get the idea that bad guys are going to sell these guns to terrorists because they want to make money. There's a mole. You find out that the mole is James Kahn, who was sort of a mentor to Arnold Schwarzenegger, and... Him and his buddies want Vanessa Williams dead, and Arnold Schwarzenegger is going to say, fuck that, he's going to kiss some ass, he's going to take some names. And that's what he does in this film. Unfortunately, this film has no features. I mean, this DVD, even the DVD menu was like shit. I mean, it's in widescreen. You have a trailer. That's it. I think the film costs $100 million because I know... Reading up on it online, apparently there was a lot of friction between the director, Chuck Russell, and the producer, Arnold Copelson. And, like, Schwarzenegger had to help out. You know, I guess, like, they came to a point where the producer and the director were not talking with each other. So Schwarzenegger had to sort of fix that or try the best he could. And apparently there were stuff like they would light it, they would be ready to shoot, then they wouldn't shoot for some reason. So that's why the budget became $100 million. Because you watch the film, you're like, I'm not sure this film really needs, looks like a $100 million film, even though there's some really good action set pieces in it. But it's because they would light things and be ready and maybe do some rewriting, and then they wouldn't shoot that day. And again, it'd be nice to hear why. It'd be nice to hear what was going on. Did... The producer, Otto Copelson, and the director, Chuck Russell, want two different movies? Was it a tone? What was it? But, and the film, I think, broke even in the U.S., but made around $240 million worldwide. $100 million budget, $240 million worldwide, around 40 to $50 million rentals. So it had to have made some money, but probably... Guess it wasn't as much as maybe they thought it would. I don't know. But I will say, this is a very fun, very entertaining, funny, 
Uh, Schwarzenegger is a badass in this flick. I mean, the opening where sure, sort of showing what this guy can do, and yeah, this actor played by Robert Pastorelli, who's a witness, who's being beating the shit out of, and this guy does a really good job, Robert Pastorelli. I really liked him in this film. He was a lot of fun. He's an Italian guy, and. These guys are trying to kill him, and his woman, and Arnold, fucks these guys up. He fucks these guys up, he breaks their necks, he kicks some ass, takes some names, gets some buys that he stole from the board, close your eyes, you're dead. And it really shows that how he works. He works alone, he knows what he's doing, he makes it seem like that they are dead, fakes their death. Gets rid of the, the bad guy's bodies. Or puts them so that, well, he kill you. And then they turn on each other. And Robert Pastorelli is like, ah, the bastards. <laughs> or something like that. And I don't mind Alan Silvestri's score. It's definitely not as good as Alan Silvestri's score in Delta Force or Predator. But that was decent. I, I like the theme that... Which I think I remember hearing that bit of music in the trailer to Starship Troopers, actually. The music in this. So I didn't mind the scores. Not as classic as his others, but I thought it was decent. But like I said, after you take care of business, you have Vanessa Williams, defense contractor. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger tells her, well, you, it should have been explained to you that you had to be a witness protection. And he tells him, yeah, it's so much easier for her to put his ass on the line than yours, isn't it? So I like this character of a Kruger. I'm like, all right, Kruger. A good guy, Kruger. <laughs> and pretty much, one of the least another, Vanessa Williams gets home and... I remember a friend of mine telling me that, you know, they really wanted to honor Arnold's older films or this sort of like a thank you letter to the fans of the Arnold's older flits because you see Arnold arrive with balloons and the badge says, let's party. So you think of Commando, let's party. Uh, Vanessa Williams' boyfriend gets killed because the bad guys are there and they have these rail guns. And these rail guns... Granted, are totally fictional, and you could say totally bullshit, but at the same time, I went with it because it was a fun. It was a fun design, a fun concept. They had, like, these X-ray uh, sort of visor, not visor, but X-ray scopes, and they're shooting, and, like, shoots the boyfriend. Boyfriend goes back, like, 50 feet, and Arnold's protecting the girl, and they throw this bomb that explodes with these nails and nails Arnold's hand to this... I think this fridge they toppled over for protection. They get out of there. They blow up the house. And I like the shot where Arnold and the girl go down. And the door explodes like, right behind them. I really like that shot. That was well handled. Basically tells him to wait here. He goes, "If they, I work alone. If anyone says I sent them, use this. And pretty much just the idea, like, James Conn. James Conn does a really good job as a bad guy. I like James Conn as an actor. Really enjoy him in the original Rollerball. He does a really good job here as the, the lead, as the lead. I guess you call him the lead bad guy. I mean, there's guys above him, above his pay grade, so to speak. But of the focus, he's our bad guy. And James Conn does a good job as the bad guy. And pretty much he's going, yeah, there's people killing our witnesses. We need to check uh, the witnesses. And Arnold's like, okay, we'll do yours first. And they go in, and Arnold kicks some ass. And like, all right. Stabs a guy through a door. He takes his fucking shotgun, blows a guy. You do get practical bullet squibs. This film is rated R. And this film, it's looking for the running time. 115 minutes, but it didn't seem that long. I thought it went by a very fast pace, very good pace. This is a really awesome Schwarzenegger flag. Taste jumps up and kicks the guy through the fucking window. Then that's where you find James Conn is a bad guy because he kills the witness, but then pretends that it was the other guy that did it. 
And then Arnold gets drugged on the plane. But Arnold's not having that. He has these fucking knives on his belt and throws it right into James Conn's arm. This is just some shit throws it to the engine of the plane to fuck it up. This is... Um, I thought it was a really entertaining action sequence. It tries to use his parachute. It flies off. He's hanging on. Let's go. Dis the parachute. Get straps it on. And that's not even enough. The bad guys turn the plane. And James Conn's like, I want his face plastered over this window. Arnold takes his gun and shoots the fucking plane. Bah, 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 bah. Just hanging on the parachute, where it comes down, like crushes the top of the car. Very entertaining, fun action sequence. And then these guys try to, these little kids try to make them pay 50 bucks for the, to use this truck. You know, I was like, 50 bucks. I thought, you know, some would say, ah, do you really need that comedy in that instance? But I thought it worked. It was a cute, I guess is the right word for it. But he goes off to um, to the zoo. That's right. The reason I'm pausing is because there's a scene coming up where Vanessa Williams, when she gets the signal, she's supposed to meet Arnold at the zoo, this public zoo in, I believe, New York. Could be wrong. And well, at least another. I like this bit. You actually have Mark Rolston, who's Drake. Drake, we are leaving, you know, Drake from Aliens, you know, who was friends with Vasquez and got the acid burn on Mark Rolston, who has this star. Uh, Vanessa Williams, I thought she did a good job in this. I thought she was natural. She wasn't annoying. She had a little bit of toughness to her. And she's like, she remembers that Arnold said he, that Arnold works alone. So, so she goes, oh, you must know the secret handshake. He's like, what? Oh, yeah. And then he shoots Mark Rolston in the leg He runs off. I'm like, oh, very smart. Goes to reptiles. And like I was saying before, I was trying to remember, are those crocodiles or alligators? And that's something like, are those crocodiles? I can't tell the difference between a crocodile and alligator. I'll be flat out honest with you. So I don't know if they're crocodiles or alligators. Hell, even online I looked. Some people say crocodiles, some people say alligators. So what the fuck? All I know is some bad CGI. Those are those are some bad CGI. I get. I know it's 1996. Still really bad CGI. But Arnold gets in, shoots some bad guys. She's like, "You're late, traffic." And he lets loose the the gators, crocs, however you want to call it. And I forgot that one of them actually rips the bad guy's arm off. Oh shit! I forgot that. But yeah, some really bad CGI. And Arnold shoots the CGI thing and your luggage. Again, it is some bad CGI, but still a, a fun, over-the-top action sequence. I had fun with the scene. Uh, basically, they escape. They hold out. They realize they need some help because they had... When Vanessa Williams, she was working with the FBI to help them, and she got this disc, and she made a copy of the disc. They need to run it to get proof, and they need to run it inside the building that's very fortified place that James Conn's going to be waiting for them. And so they get the help of the guy that Arnold helped at the beginning, Robert Pastorelli. And this guy, again, he's a lot of fun. Arnold put him in this, just best way to put it, a gay bar. And he's like, were you the guy who decided to put me here? And Arnold's like, you're alive. He's like, yeah, by the way, don't tell these guys that uh, I'm straight. I don't want to break some hearts. <laughs> But Robert Pastorelli, he does, he's a very fun, very fun guy. I'm going to look up what else this guy's been in. I think, unfortunately, the guy has passed away, which is too bad. But I want to make sure. Robert Pastorelli. He was the, he was in Striking Distance for with uh, Bruce Willis. He was the painter on Murphy Brown. Yeah, 2004 he passed away, which is too bad. He was only 49 years old. It's too bad. But yeah, this guy was in Sister Act 2. He has Striking Distance. He was in Michael with... I think that's one with John Travolta. He was in Heist. He was in Bait. He was in Be Cool. So yeah, it was... That's really sad. That's too bad. Yeah, I really liked him in this film. 
basically like gives him this ultra cell surge and like he looks at this and goes what a little light of that gas or something then you find out what it is is he's going he's going to send robert passarelli in as a pizza delivery guy when they ruffle him up he's going to pretend to have a heart attack and so he puts the ultra cell surge and he's like foaming at the mouth and they get him in, and like he's playing with this thing that he's not supposed to, and he accidentally unplugs it, so they think he's dying. They shock him. He's like, no, no, wait. And then Arnold and Vanessa Williams go and pretend to be ambulance workers, you know, paramedics, as you say. And they stop that, that him from being shot again. And they go in. They get the info. They try to escape. Vanessa Williams gets taken. He needs more help from Robert Pastorelli, or more like Robert Pastorelli goes, no, you need my help, man. Uh, my cousin works at these dots that just, they find out there's going to be a shipment of these rail guns at these dots. And Robert Pastorelli's like, hey, I got some room. Not some room. I got some, some help with my cousin. He runs the docks over there. And I like the Robert Pastorelli's friends. Uh, definitely Italian guys. You see that these guys will fit well in a in any kind of mob movie. I swear I've seen some of these guys in like what was that one? Analyze this, analyze that, stuff like that. But I thought they did a good job with it. I really do. And Arnold is a complete badass when he gets here because he gets in. They're using these rail guns. He's diving with his shotgun. He gets stabbed like a, sh like a wood shrapnel in his leg and he tears it out and jams it into a guy's gut. Gets underneath, shoots the shit ta -ta 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 -ta, with both guns. Jumps out, grabs both rail guns. And I love that music. Dun, 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 dun. These guys, like, these two guys fly, like, 500 feet or something out the fucking building. I love that scene. Like, and this total badass, he shoots over here, four or five guys go boom, shoots over here, blows up this fucking truck. There's a fucking pickup truck. He comes over, shoots, blows up the pickup truck that flies right above him and into the water. It's like, God, just don't let this end. But it's got to end sometime. But gets a, on a, gets a little bit of a fight with James Khan on top of this container that's on this chain, which Vanilla, Vanessa L. Williams is on as well. That was really well handled, I thought. I thought this was just a well-staged, entertaining, fast-paced, fun action film. And then the bad guys get their desserts because there's the, a trial... Well, they're at a courthouse. Arnold and the girl fake their deaths. So the bad guys don't notice that until their limo stops. And the limo stops on a on a train track. And James Conn gets a phone call and goes, You've just been erased. You've just been erased. And, oh shit, here's the train. I can't get out of them. Boom. And, of course, you have to end it with, she's like, what happened to them? They caught the train. <laughs> and it heads off and you have this And like, of course they caught a train. They just that's that's definitely Schwarzenegger right there. But Eraser is just a very fun, entertaining, fast paced, over the top. Uh, James Conn does a really good job with the bad guy. Schwarzenegger's Vanessa Williams does fine. She does fine. And they don't really go into the whole, oh, they fall in love. At least if they did, I didn't notice it, which I'm fine with. You didn't have to go that route. Because it doesn't make sense. Just a witness that he's protecting, which works. The action scene on the docks is entertaining seeing Arnold use those fucking rail guns. It is our race, and when people get shot, you got practical bullet squibs, and a guy's arm gets torn off by the whether alligator, crocodile, whatever, the CGI thing. You see, like, maybe teeny bits of practical, but I'm like, you know, you do see some bad CGI. That's, like, the one thing, I'm like, eh. That's one, little, that's one, I don't know if you call it nitpick, 
that would give is that scene. But Robert Pastorelli really enjoyed him. He wasn't annoying. Sometimes he'd get those characters in. I guess you'd call the count relief. And they could be annoying. This was the total opposite. He was a lot of fun. And it was I was never bored. It was very entertaining. Very fun film. Very solid Schwarzenegger film. Definitely. I think I did put this in my top 10 favorite Schwarzenegger flicks. And it deserves it. And it's a film no one really talks about. Not many people talk about Eraser. Which is a shame. And the DVD doesn't have jack shit. I mean. I don't mind the sixth day. But come on. If you don't give that movie features. Give Eraser some fucking features. And again, I don't mind a six day, but Eraser is a hell of a lot better. Give this some features, Warner Brothers. But you typical of that. You know, just like that. <laughs> well, that, that has a commentary. Unfortunately, it's pretty boring commentary, but. Goddamn, give something for Eraser. It's a, very, it's a kick ass action flick. Hell of a lot of fun. That's really my summation of Eraser. Very fucking fun. So, either way, thanks for watching. Take care. Fun fucking movie. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.